Hi, this is Zach Mead from Zach's Traders Cafe. We'll look at some single stocks on Wednesday, the 21st of September. Starting off with Barclays and a surprise uh, in terms of the technicals of the gap through the uh, 200 day moving average at £1.70, giving a positive spin to uh, the recent price action. Uh, this could lead up to 180, 185, which is the top of a rising June trend channel, that target valid, while the uh, floor of the June channel and the 50 day moving average at 160.6 remains in place. Uh, next up onto the uh, housing market in the form of uh, Barrett Developments, a house builder. And uh, here we see also reasonably strong uh, price action holding above the 50-day moving average of £4.54. Um, got a rising trend channel there really from the end of June, uh, recovery from the Brexit shock. And uh, basically what we're waiting for now really is a, a fresh break of the 20-day moving average around 4 90 on an end-of-day close basis, and that would take us up towards the 200-day moving average and the top of the June channel at 528 pence plus. Time frame on that uh, would be, uh, let's say, a month after any break of that 20-day uh, line. On to BT, which has been uh, surprisingly sickly uh, of late, uh, behaving as if it was about to uh, uh, get hurt on its open reach uh, situation. Uh, but it uh, looks like slight, slight change here, a slight attempt to uh, turn around after recent uh, declines within this uh, falling trend channel, previously heading towards 350. End of day close above the 50 day moving average is what we're really needing or looking forward to, uh, perhaps even an, an, a weekly close above that feature to confirm that the, uh, the down move from, uh, let's say, the uh, uh, April uh, or March April uh, peaks uh, is about to finish. Uh, bear trap effect, effect also from below 380 uh, for the share, so that does provide extra momentum as well. But uh, well, worth looking out for as far as a turnaround there uh, on a final fourth dip below the 380 level. Persimmon is next, so keeping back, going back with the uh, house builders. Uh, sharp move up uh, today, really uh, interesting that we've had. Uh, uh, the last few sessions uh, right above the 50-day moving average at 17.35. Uh, at least while we're above that, looking forward to uh, a, a retest of uh, last month's resistance uh, through the uh, 19.36 level. Uh, still have the gap down overshadowing the price, but uh, reasonable upside there from current levels and while we may remain above the 50-day uh, line. On to uh, some smaller stocks to finish off. Uh, first of them, uh, stock which has been pounded rather badly, uh, Sapura, uh, nice bounce there, but uh, not anywhere near former resist, former support from July, and nowhere near the uh, the ten day moving average of twenty eight pence. But that looks to be the uh, uh, the initial target, uh, at least while we can hold above, uh, let's say the sixteen seventeen pence uh, support of recent sessions. Uh, going on to a better situation, Sound Energy, and uh, here we have a bit of a pullback here, or rather a sharp pullback. What we said previously is that we wanted to see the uh, floor of this rising trend channel and the 10-day moving average hold around the 86 pence level. That might still happen, but uh, as things stand, it looks like there's been a bit of a shakeout and one would have to uh, uh, stand aside. Uh, the, the best buying opportunity at this, at this point would be to look for dips towards the 20-day moving average at 77 pence. Uh, finishing off with uh, Sirius Minerals, and uh, here we've got a rebound off the 50-day moving average. Uh, that's running at uh, 34 pence, and really, while we hold above that, um, we could at least retest the 40-plus 40 40 uh, pence area over the next two to three weeks. Uh, but it's still definitely in, in a consolidation phase, uh, and not uh, in the same glories that it was. Uh, between June and August. That's it for me. More updates at the same time tomorrow.